So you're thinking about moving to San Marcos, California. Well, in this video, I'm gonna do one of the most extensive overviews of the top three neighborhoods here in San Marcos. And we're actually gonna do a couple things, but I really wanna show you guys what it's like to eat, sleep, live here. And I'm actually gonna pull up the maps and I'm gonna walk you guys through the map and show you the location of this neighborhood and some of the proximities to shopping, things to do, the beach, things like that. And then after that, we're actually gonna hop in my car and I took some really good video footage of you guys to get you really up close and personal with these neighborhoods. And I'll share some of the awesome things about these neighborhoods along with what it costs to own a home here. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it now. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel and you like to know what it's like to eat, sleep, live here in San Diego or San Marcos for that fact, make sure you subscribe down below. It really helps motivate me to make more videos just like this and keep you guys informed. So my name is Nicholas Miley. I'm a real estate advisor here in San Diego and I really do love helping you guys make more educated decisions when you're moving here. So if you need help and you're thinking about moving here in a month, six months, a year, feel free to reach out, shoot me a text, email, whatever works best for you, and let's get that process started to help you make a very smooth move here to San Diego. But let's talk about what we came here to talk about, and that's these top three neighborhoods in San Marcos. So let's go ahead and jump straight into my computer. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have the maps pulled up, and I already have San Marcos outlined, which is gonna be up here in North County, San Diego. And for those of you who don't know, if you're gonna be commuting down to downtown San Diego or maybe more of the southern parts of San Diego, you're gonna be hopping on the 78 right here, which travels east to west, and then you're gonna jump on the 15, which is gonna take you all the way down to the 163, which is gonna take you right into downtown San Diego. So this is where the airport is um, and stuff like that, but you should be aware it could take you anywhere from 40 to 45 minutes depending on traffic. It's about a 40 mile drive from San Marcos, so something to know. And then also, if you're gonna be commuting up to Orange County or maybe LA, it's gonna be that away. So you're gonna hop on the 78 and then you're gonna to connect to the five right here and shoot up to Los Angeles. But let's go talk about these neighborhoods in San Marcos, zoom in a little bit. And first off, San Marcos is a booming area. <clears throat> I've actually grown up there and you know a lot has changed over the years. There's a really good school district in here and for the most part, you can still get in for a very affordable price, whether it be a condo or a single family. But let's talk about a couple of the neighborhoods that I wanted to highlight. There is a ton of good neighborhoods here, but today we're going to talk about just a few. And let's dive into here because Discovery is going to be the first one on the list, Discovery Hills. And Discovery is actually going to be this area right here. We're going to be covered right before you get into Lake San Marcos over there. So this is all gonna be considered Discovery Hills. So let's zoom in a little bit so I can talk a little bit more about this neighborhood and why it's so awesome. But first off, let's delete that. So here we are in Discovery. As you can see, this place has a ton of trails in here, which is really cool because you don't have to go far to go seek these trails. You can literally live on any of these streets and kind of cruises these trails. And there's actually Discovery Lake is over here too, which is really cool. You got a nice trail around that. You can do some fishing in there. I've seen people on kayaks in there. I don't think that's allowed, but it's, you know, it's somewhere you can actually go hang, chill, um, do a picnic or do some fishing. No swimming in there. I don't think you'd want to swim in it, but just to give you a heads up. So let's look at some of the proximities to the plazas because that's one great thing about San Marcos in general is you just have so much shopping, restaurants, plazas all close by. And what I like about Discovery Lake right here is you can just shoot over to Twin Oaks right here and boom, you already have freeway access. So you can go to the coast. The beach will probably take you about a 20 minute drive to get over there. And then if you go just east, you'll have Escondido and you'll have the 15 if you need to head south or go north to Riverside. So that's one thing that's really cool about this or about Discovery Hills. And there's also a very big, uh, we got Cal State San Marcos, which is right here. So San Marcos does have about two, have about two colleges. So we have Cal State right here. And then we have a very big community college, which is called Palomar uh, City College. So 
that's going to be Discovery Lake right here. And you have really good plazas. Let's zoom in over here. So this is a huge shopping center right here. And it's just probably a two minute drive. We have a Chick-fil-A, you have In-N-Out, you have a Best Buy, you have a Winco Foods for some shopping for foods and stuff. And you have a Hobby Lobby as well, if you like crafts and doing that stuff. But you can kind of get a glimpse of what's going on in this plaza across the street. You have a Denny's, you have a really good Thai food place right in here too. Jack in the Box. And let's go over... Costco is going to be really close to this is actually this is brand new this Costco is probably maybe a couple months old but they just put this in it's a business center so if you have a business card you can go ahead and do your shopping there but if you're looking for another Costco it's actually going to be you know five five minutes down the 78 this way and off of Nordahl so there's a Costco over there too you got more shopping like I said there's just a lot to do over here <clears throat> you have a Nordstrom rack you have a Sprouts in here Raising Canes. You also have a Handles, which is some really good ice cream. You have a Regal. So you have some really cheap, really cheap movies actually on Tuesday nights. Um, and then also what's nice about Discovery is you're right next to San Marcos High School, which is amazing high school. I actually went to high school there, but they just did a $220 million renovation. This was done years ago, but the school academically is very high up there. For ratings and also one last thing about discovery is right here you're going to have Disco discovery elementary school so you'll see a lot of kids walking to school with their friends or parents just dropping them off so it's really close access for that but let's jump into the car actually and let me show you around the neighborhood so you can get a feel up close and personal for it All right, so let's explore the next neighborhood, which is going to be San Aleo Hills, located in San Marcos. And as you can see, let me just kind of give you a nice little outline. This is all going to be considered San Aleo Hills, which is going to be this zone right here. And let me zone out, zoom out to show you guys a little bit more about the proximity. So like I said, San Aleo Hills is going to be right in this zone, like I said. And as you go, this is going to be Rancho Santa Fe Road. This is going to take you into Encinitas. And then if you start to head this way, this is going to be Carlsbad area. So you're right on the border. It's the most, you know, southern, southern western part of San Marcos, as you can see on the map. So it's going to be right in this area. But let's dive a little bit back into San Oleo Hills. And now San Oleo Hills is a master plan development it's been around since probably about 2005 maybe early 2000s it was built but this community literally has everything you could need and more to the point where you almost don't need to leave so if you're coming into San Aleo there's only really one way in one way out kind of in a sense so if you come in right here off of this is going to be Rancho Santa Fe Road this will take you into San Marcos this will take you into Carlsbad but if you take a right right here in San Aleo Road, now you're heading into San Aleo Hills. And if you wanted to go all the way through, this will take you up. And this is a big mountain right here. This is You're climbing a hill the whole way up. And I'd say right about here, you're going to start to drop down onto Twin Oaks Valley Road, which is going to take you to, let me delete that. Oops, zoomed out a little bit too much. Here we are. So this is going to take you all the way down to Discovery Lakes. Discovery Hills is going to be right in this zone, which is what I was talking about right before this, and this will take you right to the 78. So 
that's kind of the proximity and what you're going to be looking at if you're going to be going in and out of Santa Leo. But let's dive into Santa Leo so I can show you a little bit about this community. Because like I said, this place has it all. It has restaurants, it has multiple schools, it has a grocery store, it has a gas station right here. Let me zoom in and see what comes up. So this is where you're going to be really entering and coming into Santa Leo Road. There's a lot of condos in this zone. Um, but what's and that's the nice thing about San Leo is there's a lot of condos in there and there's also a ton of single family homes. So depending on what you're looking for, especially walkability, this could be a great community. You have a couple restaurants in here. You have Lourdes, which is more of like a taco shop. You have Shane's Pizzas and Pints. Grocery store is going to be right here. Chevron. And then right here is just a big, big park for the most part. And it's going to have just a fountain in there and some tables if you want to have a picnic. And then you also have a brewery right here. And let me see, let me zoom out a little bit. So right here, you're going to have Santa Leo Middle School. And then right above it, you're gonna have Santa Leo Elementary School. So the walkability here for your kids, you know, if you can't take your kids to school, it's great. They can walk from the house and go straight to school and they'll probably see their friends on the way. Uh, also, what's really nice, there's parks all over the place in Santa Leo. There's some small ones with little jungle gyms. And there's also bigger parks like this one right here that has a couple baseball fields, has a couple soccer soccer fields up top, and then it also has a dog park. So as you can see, this place really does have it all. And as you start to come up here, and there's also a ton of trails. So if you like doing mountain biking or hiking, I mean, the accessibility for trails is awesome because they're all throughout. And Double Peak right here, which is an awesome viewpoint you can hike up to, and you have 360 degree views up there. So you can see all the way to Escondido. You can see all the way to the ocean. So it's really cool. And it's definitely something you should you should know about if you're considering a move here to San Marcos or San Diego. But let's jump into the car so I can show you uh, a little bit about the neighborhoods and what you can kind of expect when you're when you're driving around. Right, and last but not least, this is going to be the final neighborhood we talk about in this video is going to be Lake San Marcos, which is located right here, as you can see. And it's called Lake San Marcos because, yes, there is a giant lake that flows right through it. Now, this community is awesome. First off, I do want to say it does border Discovery Hills, which we spoke about earlier in this video. That's going to be right here. And then San Leo Hills is actually right on the other side of the hill, literally. Um, it's funny, we're only talking about these neighborhoods, but these are some really good neighborhoods, highly sought, af sought after. And I just figured I would share these if you're not too familiar with San Marcos and its neighborhoods, because you should know about these communities. But Let's dive back into Lake San Marcos and talk about this a little bit. So <clears throat> the funny thing about Lake San Marcos is this used to be a 55 and up community back in the day when it was first built. Now, it's a pretty big zone, but it was built to be a 55 and up. Now, this it's not considered a 55 and up community. Now, there is a couple neighborhoods in Lake San Marcos that are 55 and up, but it's it's very minimal, but most of it is open to any age range, but it is where a lot of people retire. You will see some families here. You'll see a little bit of everything, which is kind of cool. And this lake actually flows through. This lake will actually flow all the way through. 
I'm not going to show it show it all, but this line, as you can see, this goes all the way to the lagoon in La Casa that flows out to the ocean. So this is actually runoff all the way to the ocean, which is kind of cool. But Lake San Marcos, first off, I'm going to say it's not a lake I'd swim in. People do swim in it. I've seen people stand up paddle boarding and you know kayaking through there, which you can totally do. But they are in the works of uh, purifying, not purifying it, but kind of oxidating it to make it more cleaner water that's more swimmable. Um, but there is some really good fishing in here. You know, a lot of these homes that are actually on the lake, like right over here, they have docks that go straight from their backyard into the lake. So they'll have their boat, usually pontoon boats, uh, ready to launch right there. So that's actually really cool. But let's dive into this. So there is two golf courses here. There's an executive, which is a par three, and then there's a full course. So there is two golf courses, and there is a resort in here too. It's it's smaller resort, but it's it's a really cool. They renovated it years ago, and it's just a place that is it's pretty popping here. It's a, it's a really cool hip and new zone, and they're redoing it. And you'll see right here you have a Malfi, which is a really good fine dining. Italian restaurant and then right below it is going to be Dockside which is a newer bar that's right on the water it's covered but you're literally right on the water and you can get some good happy hour there and some good bar food so that's something to pay attention to but you can kind of see all these houses right here these all have la direct lake access um, but you'll have a, a, just about everything in here you'll have smaller condos you'll have some single family homes and let's see what else I'm missing for Lake San Marcos. That's pretty much it for the most part. It's You're not going to have shopping in here, but you're going to have a few restaurants. But you're right next to all the shopping as well. As you can see, there's an Albertsons right here. There's more grocery shopping right here. And then here's that movie theater I was talking about earlier, Nordstrom Rack. So it's all very relative, very close. San Marcos High School is located right here too. So the access to just about everything is on point and it's something you should know about but let's jump into the car so i can show you around All right, guys, so that just about wraps it up for the top three neighborhoods here in San Marcos. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video and it brought some value. I, I actually had a lot of fun making that, especially going around to some of these neighborhoods and getting some of that video footage for you. So if you guys have any more questions about San Marcos or anything around in San Diego, feel free to reach out. Like I said, email, text, phone call, whatever works best for you. And I look forward to helping you make a smooth move here to San Diego. And I will see you guys in the next video.